Hey, my name is Michael, founder of dfymeetings.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a bit more casual. We're gonna be doing some live cold email writing. So essentially, I have an idea for a campaign I wanna run. And I thought, why not make my whole process from the idea to the targeting, to the writing, the follow-ups in a video. So this is not gonna be too scripted. Um, might have a few bumps here and there, but if you wanna see how I put together a campaign, Great opportunity. Drop it. Drop it. So for a little bit of context, I run an agency called DFYMeetings.com. We'll pull it up on the Google here. Essentially, we book sales calls for B2B businesses. Um, a lot of our clients sell to e-commerce. This has led to us having a massive surplus of e-commerce leads. Uh, we have 50,000 to 100 uh, e-commerce leads. And thought process here is, a nice way to make some extra money would be to set up a little landing page where you can buy a list of 50,000 e-commerce leads for like four to $6,000, still figuring that out. So we're gonna be selling pre-built e-commerce lead lists to e-commerce agencies. And we're going to be targeting e-commerce agencies. It's kind of redundant, pre-built e-commerce lead lists. Targeting e-commerce agencies. And the call to action, I don't really want to get on the phone with people for this. So uh, I'm just going to send them right to a landing page. Pick up a landing page if you're interested. Um, not, not anything too crazy, uh, pretty, pretty simple campaign really. Uh, however, I thought it'd be cool to write it live. So we're going to start out with the subject line. I'm going to split test two of them here. This is not a campaign I'm running forever. This is one I'm probably going to run to a couple thousand people make 20 grand and let it be. So subject line, first subject line we're going to do is going to be qualified e-commerce leads for company name. Qualified e-commerce leads for company name. A bit long, it'll do. All right, let's look at subject line number two. Let's do something of a first name. First name. First name, need prospecting list. There we go. That should be sufficient. So actually, I want to add in one more. I'm just going to add in one more called company name. Let's leave that right here. So email one. So let's see. I don't want to do any personalization, so I don't want to put too much energy into this campaign. I'm also not going to segment it, which I normally segment, but in this case, I'm not going to. Um, because I also thought like we made offer. Uh, first name, start out, so Michael. And let's think of a sentence that's different than other ones are getting. Michael is company name currently in the process or looking to build contact or prospecting list. Yeah, contact, prospecting. It's, I'll call it contact list. Michael, I've done free meetings currently in the process or looking to build contact lists for e-commerce stores. Contact lists of e-commerce stores. We'll call it prospecting lists. Quick one. I've been running a lot of campaigns to e-commerce stores and have a ton of leads left that 
are currently being unused and I figured you might be interested. These were all built by VAs using Sonda.io and SalesQL. And between all lists have under a 5% bounce rate. Happy to sell them at a portion of what it cost me to build them out. If you're interested, I recorded a quick video here to see the details. Let's do a loom video. Let me know. Thanks, Michael. All right, now let's read Fervis. First name, it's company name currently in the process or looking to build prospecting lists of e-commerce stores. Quick one, I've been running a lot of e-commerce campaign, a lot of campaigns, e-commerce stores, and have a ton of leads left that are currently being unused. And I figured you might be interested. These were all built by VAs using Stob and Sales QL, and between all lists have under 5% bounce have under have between all lists and between all lists have under a 5% bounce rate happy to sell them at a portion of what it cost me to build them out to build them to create them if you're interested record a quick video here to see the details record a quick video here with details with details sounds better let me know Thanks, Michael Gardner. Thank you for meetings. First name. Is there someone else at company name in charge of prospecting and sales that might be better off? that I'd, I should reach out to instead. If so, an introduction would be much appreciated. Thanks. I've garnered on three meetings. See, it's cold email to anything crazy, but it's a pretty good offer. Um, and it's pretty easy. You know, when you're selling something that's super competitive, um, this wouldn't, this wouldn't fly, uh, but because I have a list of like 2,000 e-commerce stores, I'll try to sell this to, uh, I think I'll sell five, 10, um, and it's just money laying around. Again, I have all these leads and figured, put a campaign together, make it into a YouTube video. I think a lot of people overcomplicate cold email copy. Now you do have to be quite crafty in competitive uh, industries, but like, how would you write this in an email? This is how I would do it. Um, is there a better way? Probably, but does this do 90% of a job by just writing it like I would write? Yeah, it does. Let me go to put a last email here. Last message from me, first name. Quickly sum up my intent one last time. I have built tens of thousands of high quality e-commerce prospect lists for my own use. And I'm looking for other e-commerce agency owners who might be interested in purchasing at bulk. In bulk. Bulk. At a, at approximately 30% of the cost of hiring someone to build your own list. Let me know. Best of luck. Michael Gardner, come to your meetings. There it is, cold email campaign. Really, really simple. Do I think it'll work? Probably. Um, do I think I'll make a couple grand? Probably. Again, it's 
It's how I would write the email. Um, and how can I standardize it? So like how would I write to one person? Then how am I going to make this apply to everybody? And lastly, I will read this out loud. Michael, is there something else? Someone else at company name in charge of prospecting sales that I should reach out to instead. So it should be much appreciated. Thanks, Michael. Last question for me, Michael, to quickly sum up my intent one last time. I built tens of thousands of high-quality e-commerce products and lists for my own use. I'm looking for other e-commerce agents sooners might be interested in purchasing in bulk at approximately 30% of the cost. Hiring someone to build your own lists would cost. Sounds weird. I'm looking for other e-commerce agency owners who might be interested in purchasing in bulk at approximately 30% of the cost. Hiring someone to build your own lists in bulk, approximately 30% of the cost of hiring someone to build your own lists. And it's why you read things out loud. Like, does it sound awkward? If I didn't read this out loud, I'm going to skip by it. I built tens of thousands of high quality e-commerce prospecting lists for my own use. And I'm looking for other e-commerce agency owners who might be interested in purchasing in bulk at approximately 30% of a cost of hiring someone to build your own list. There we go. Let me know. That's a lot, Michael Gardner. Quick YouTube video, one take. I think I'm going to do more of these, just like sitting down and writing cold emails. Um, maybe I'll do a series where I actually audit some people who follow me on YouTube, like their cold emails. I think these are fun, casual. Um, I like to write things live. So if you think I should do more, drop a comment. Appreciate you watching this. Hope it was helpful. And I also think the main point of this video is kind of to not complicate it so much. Uh, good offer, good targeting, um, conversational, good copy, and sending volume. You're good to go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.